So we're cracking open the Mortician Black IPA, 8.7% from Lucky Luke Brewing Company. The Mortician Black IPA from Lucky Luke, 8.7%. So these are black double IPAs, I guess, if you're gonna call them, or cas double Cascadian dark ales, or whatever the hell you're gonna call this style of beer. Yeah, Lucky Luke up in the uh, up in Palmdale. They have a brew pub in Lancaster. Their production brewery is in Palmdale. And I really like these guys. These guys have been around for several years now. And there's a handful of breweries up in that northern tip of LA County. And they're killing it. They're doing a really good job. And Lucky Luke really across a lot of different styles. I love their hoppy beers, but they do a lot of really good stuff. Their Luke's OG, a blonde ale, which is really good. And I typically don't gravitate to blonde ales, but that they do a really good one. Um, this is the Mortician. And you gotta love that artwork there. They, I think they switch up the artwork on the can the past couple years they put this out. And this is an annual release for them. They put this out one time a year. Hopefully they end up increasing production of this. I think the beer world is starting to clamor for maltier beers in general. And I think maltier IPAs is something that might balance out all of the haze and everything going on on the lighter side of the spectrum. So, you know, let's cross our fingers. I, I feel like right now I'm seeing a lot of uh, excitement over these darker IPAs. And uh, let's keep that excitement going, okay? All right, so we're cracking open the Mortician Black IPA, 8.7% from Lucky Luke Brewing Company. Let's pour it out and see what's inside. It's dark in the light. I'm getting a little bit more reddish hue to this. We still have like a really active head here, really frothy, densely packed bubbles, really nice looking head sitting on top. So I'm really liking that. This is the beer I don't know much about. They don't put much out on their website about like the ingredients and the recipe. Now, there's nothing on the can. Lucky Luke, I don't know much about. So on the nose, we're getting like creamy coffee. Milk chocolate, little bit of pininess on the nose too. It's got like this creamy smell. I don't know if it's just like this head and it's just like, so frothy that in my mind it's coming through as like creaminess. But yeah, the rose character is beautiful on the nose here. I really like that a lot. It's like a really, uh, not, I don't want to say sweet coffee, but it's like a not bitter coffee. Like a chocolatey coffee. Really, really nice. Really good beer. The bitterness on this beer shines through compared to the others. Uh, really big bitterness that cuts through um, the huge malt presence that's there. This beer is a big beer. This beer has bitterness, it has roast. These uh, flavors are kind of like screaming out at you as you're drinking the beer. This beer is not for the faint of heart. This is a flavorful, punch you in the mouth type of beer. This beer is just blasting me in the face in a really, really good way. I don't know if this beer uses rye. Like I said, I'm not really the one to pick it out uh, blind, but there's definitely a lightness in this body. The body is light. It hits your palate, it hits your mouth, and it just washes away, but it blasts it with a big amount of roasty malt and a huge amount of bitterness too. Black IPA is classic, but this is like classic IPA flavors. Um, I feel like there's like Amarillo, Chinook and Citra in here. Like you're getting a lot of orange, you're getting a lot of grapefruit, you're getting a lot of bitterness, a little bit of dankness, a lot of pine. Good beer, really good beer. Really like this a lot. The Mortician by Lucky Luke, 8.7%. Man, I'm so glad I got that beer. We got that Lucky Luke here. Yeah, and you get it right on the nose. It's just like, these are big, massive flavors on both sides. Big roasty sweetness, big hot bitterness, citrus, grass, pine, resin, coffee, chocolate. I mean, these are just blasting you in the face. It's a fun beer. This is a fun beer. If your palate can handle big attacks, I would say this Lucky Luke is really right up your alley. 